Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 31 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 Trials to Glory, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Yeah, I'm definitely not registering for the uh, KC Cup or anything, because I've already won it. I will, however, deal with this guy. That's a nice card you have. It's exactly what I want. Hehehe. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> usually I'm the one challenging people to a duel, not the other way around. Fine, I accept. Alright, so I'll give you one of my 22 blue eyes white dragons, so I lost one to Yami Yugi earlier, in the, in the last episode. So anyways, Rare Hunter has an Exodia deck. One where he can have like three copies of each card. That makes him dangerous. Like, it could be so bad, you might actually lose on the first turn. So I gotta find some ways to make sure that I can get rid of his hand. Alright, there's probably one way to do it. So I'm just not gonna summon any monsters. Okay, these are one of those cards that he can use. Should I use, cha use Trap Hole on it? Well, I guess I might as well, just so I can have a free shot at his life points. Okay, so he's got one face card down. One face down card. Blech. So I'll use Harvey's Feather Duster to destroy it. What was it anyway? Ah, it was a Mirror Force. Okay, I got rid of one of them. Okay, I have to be very cautious with this. I gotta get rid of him as soon as possible. And I gotta utilize the cards that will allow me to discard cards from his hand. The sooner I do that, the better. So if I wait too long, I could find myself screwed. Oh, he gets to keep drawing cards. Ah, oh, Swords of Revealing Light, I kinda wish I kept my Harpy's Feather Duster. Alright, we, we gotta be very cautious about this. There's no sense for me to bring in another monster now. That would be suicide. Graceful Charity? Oh, this is gonna get worse. I can't, however, do this. Good, I removed it from play. That means it wasn't, like, brought to the graveyard to add another card. I'll hold on to my Swords of Revealing Light for later. Oh, he's got nothing! I need to get rid of that Swords of Revealing Light now. Alright, I end my turn. Okay, good, we can start attacking again. I'm worried about that card. Oh, it's Jar of Greed. I'm just going to attack once. Okay, it was a Mirror Force, I thought so. But I still got a monster on the field. I'm going to save my Monster Reborn for later. Oh, Pot of Greed, this is starting to get worse. How many Exodia pieces did he already have? And he was forced to discard something. I <laughs> got rid of one of his Exodia pieces. He's probably got a copy. Alright, here's what I'm thinking here. I'm gonna use Change of Heart. I'm gonna take control of that monster. Oh, but that would be a Sangin. And if I sacrifice it, he gets to add the card. What do? Maybe I'll do enough damage. Let, let's look at this. 
there's like 1,000 attack points right there with 1,900. Does he have any strong monsters in his graveyard? Or was that the only one? Left leg of the Forbidden One, another Sangin. I probably just got Mad Dog of Darkness in my graveyard. 1900 plus 1900 is 3800. Then you got 4800. 4800 plus 2400. That would equal. Geez, like more than 6100. I say we can do this. I'm gonna activate Monster Reborn. And I'll bring back Mad Dog of Darkness. that, I'm going to use United We Stand. Obviously, I would not put it on Sangin, because I'm not an idiot. Oh, this will work. In fact, I probably need to attack with two of them. Yep, I do. That was actually a good bit of math. And this is why math is important, kids, so stay in school. Okay, so I think we beat almost every rare hunter. We still haven't beaten Yami Yugi, and I think there's still Yami Bakura. Oh, he gave me Nightmare Steel Cage. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I say so myself. Huh, <laughs> red is the color of blood. You know what? I will duel Solid Snake. So you're not a resident of this world. Then let me test you to see if your skills are good enough to survive here. Alright. Well, they can't confirm for sure that it's Solid Snake, but he's a dude in a cardboard box, and this is a Konami game. So it's safe to say it is supposed to be a cameo of Solid Snake. Alright, let's see what you got. This'll do. And in case you actually try to destroy it with a spell, I got plan B. Which you did. Neo the Magic Swordsman? A weird choice. I expected something stronger. I guess because he's not an anime character, he's just not gonna have too many strong cards. All right, I'll summon Luster Dragon number two then. We'll go tit for tat now. Okay, this is becoming a chess match. I'll end my turn then. Beautiful head huntress. You know what, I'm gonna take the damage. Why? Because, well, let's face it. Just one monster with 1,600 attack points is hardly worth a Mirror Force. I can still use a Raigeki, though. I have no qualms against that. So I'm gonna have to use Monster Reborn to bring back one of my monsters. I was kinda hoping it wouldn't come to that, but it probably will. Because I don't have anything else. No way, that was Torrential Trivia I got face down. Did I say Mirror Force? Because I already used a Mirror Force. I might still have another one, though. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a flip effect there. He probably just doesn't have enough attack points to beat this thing. Yeah, I thought so. My hypothesis was right. Ah, great bill, eh? No, I'm not activating Torrential Tribute. I'm not an idiot. But he knows the defense points of that monster and will destroy it. Of course, it's gonna cost him greatly. Oh, 
Oh, man. Those are two monsters I kind of wish I still had my Needleworm for. Ooh, I got rid of his other Raigekian Mirror Force. That's pretty damn good. Alright, nothing great about this bill. It's gone. Alright, your move. Oh, Black Tyrant will be so good here. It's hardly worth our Raigeki. I should only use Raigeki if I'm in trouble. As far as I know, he mostly got normal monsters. So he is just stalling for time. Oop, but I got a second one. I say next turn I can bring in Black Tyranno, so no matter what monster he has down, I can just, just go for his life points directly. There we go, next move. Well, I don't think it's going to be next move. Maybe next two moves. Could be a next move if I get a third monster. I do! Oh, this is so glorious. You know, I'll use Raigeki anyway. Best to play it safe. Okay, that, that, that went really well. We bounced back from our previous loss against Yami Yuki. You, you just overcome any adversity that you can. That's what you gotta do. Uh, that's not a bad amount of points. You're pretty good. At your level, there's nothing to worry about. However, if you sense danger, get away quick. Just like Sakurai got away from me being in Smash 4. To be to be honest, I'm kind of glad he's not in Smash 4. Not because I'm bad against people who play as Snake in Smash, but it just doesn't fit. <coughs> Excuse me. Did I already go to the shop on Monday? Yeah, I did. Ooh, I got all the quick play cards. Well, that's why if you shop at the Ancient Shrine or the Mystic Shrine, you might have a better chance of getting those cards. Ooh, I got 98% of the equip cards. Maybe I'll get lucky here. Got 94% of the super monsters. Which sounds like, I don't know, some very weird uh, Marvel show. 94% of flip effects. I think I got 100% of fusions. And probably 100% of rituals. No, 97% of rituals. Okay. How is water doing? 98%? Okay. Just going with the law of percentages here. Eventually it'll work in my favor. 97% of dark monsters. Okay, I can only get 60 more cards added. 97% in light. Okay, I think we're filling up now. So we should probably buy something in like a three pack. One soldier collection, please. Do you have any boosters that have only one card in them? <laughs> now, out of all these, did I get one thing that's new? No. Wow. What an absolute chip. That sucked the hard one. Jesus, so crowded with all these robed people. And a birdie from Street Fighter is also here. Alright, let's just go rest. It's Tuesday. So, of course, the card shop be closed, but what's going on in the Mystic Zone? I predicted I was going to show up. Good for you. Yeah, you tend to find like a whole bunch of ghouls around certain times. Of 
because I'm still not being able to enter that survivor tournament. And I really want to enter it. So hopefully I can at some point. Oh, boosted Exodia. It's pretty cool that when you go there on certain days, like certain uh, decks will be available to buy. I only have one pot of greed, really? It might be worth my while to buy this pack, even though I have pretty much all the cards in this. I would like some more pot of greeds. What else does he have that I could use? This is the Forbidden Deck. Did I already go through this? I think I already bought this at one point. Yeah, I did. Kinda wish it would just give you the percentage of like uh, how much you got. 89% and Super Unlimited. Okay, I'll buy uh, two packs. And I'll open them here. Magic Cylinder is probably the best one, that or Witch of the Black Forest. But I don't think I got anything new. N yeah, 975 is the magic number. And that didn't go up. So there's only 25 cards overall that I am missing. I don't consider that bad at all. Alright, so I guess I'm going to stop the video right here, and in the next part we're going to continue dueling around and hopefully unlock the Survivor Tournament. See everyone.